What happens if a dog eats chocolate? One of the most well-known facts about dogs is how dangerous it is for them to eat chocolate. Being a pet owner can be challenging. Accidents can happen even with the best supervision and safety measures. Even though many dog owners are very careful with their dogs, they can't always keep an eye on them. A dog may consume a piece of candy or a chocolate chip cookie in seconds. Don't freak out. Again, it is commonly known that chocolate is a hazardous meal for dogs, but the question is, how deadly is it? Can a trace amount of cocoa powder possibly cause severe cases? What should you do if you discover that your dog has eaten chocolate? And what symptoms should you look for if your pet swallowed the chocolate? Keep watching the video to find the answers. Here's all the information you should know. Welcome to our channel, everyone. If you're new to our channel, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Let's discover what happens when your dog eats chocolate. Why is chocolate harmful to dogs? You're probably wondering why dogs aren't permitted to eat chocolate to begin with. When it comes to chocolate, humans have very little to worry about. I mean, I can eat chocolate every single day. I even have hiding spots to keep it hidden from my siblings. However, such a treatment can be fatal to pets. Most dog owners have a general idea of what they should keep their pets away from, but they might not realize why each item is so harmful. The stimulants theobromine and caffeine are responsible for chocolate's toxic properties. People are not as sensitive to theobromine as dogs are. This means you should never feed your dog any chocolate, no matter what. These medicines work to relax muscles and speed up the heart. It can cause quick breathing and restlessness. Well, you might recognize these symptoms. This substance is commonly found in coffee. Is dark chocolate more toxic to dogs? Who would have given it a thought? What would happen if your dog ate some dark chocolate? Perhaps you haven't considered whether dark chocolate is more poisonous to your pet, but it's something to think about. Not only does chocolate contain harmful substances to dogs, but it also has a high fat content. Regardless of methylxanthine levels, it can cause pancreatitis in dogs. Think about it this way. If your dog has eaten bitter dark chocolate, that's even more reason to see a vet as soon as possible. On the other hand, white chocolate doesn't pose much of a threat of chocolate poisoning to dogs. The good thing is that you won't even find it lying around in most homes, since most of us humans are not big fans of white chocolate. Besides, it only contains about 0.25 milligrams of theobromine per ounce. Still, you don't want your dog to get his hands on any form of chocolate. The high levels of fat and sugar in these treats can have damaging effects on dogs. You know exactly now where you should be storing chocolate from now on, so that your little furry friend stays safe. How much chocolate is dangerous to dogs? One method of figuring out whether or not your dog has chocolate poisoning is to estimate how much of it was eaten. Of course, the amount of chocolate consumed can affect the outcome. Before speaking with a vet, make specific notes about how much chocolate you believe your pet ate. This can help them understand the problem better. Aside from consulting your vet, you can use a chocolate toxicity calculator to estimate your pet's risk level. Mild toxicity is shown at 9 mg of theobromine per pound of dog. In comparison, severe toxicity is seen at 18 mg of theobromine per pound of dog. And not to forget, caffeine is another toxic component in chocolate. Simply put, the darker the chocolate, the more caffeine and theobromine there are, and the more lethal the combination is. What are the symptoms of eating a toxic amount of chocolate? Suppose you believe your dog has consumed a dangerous amount of chocolate. In that case, we recommend you do not panic until you consult a vet. They can help you discover more about your dog's condition and put your mind at ease. On the other hand, waiting for symptoms to show can be dangerous, and you're wasting valuable time that a vet could use to help your pet recover. As a general guideline, you should consider many factors while assessing if your pet ate a dangerous amount of chocolate. The amount of chocolate consumed by your pet and its size will influence the severity of the risk. Next, you must be wondering what indicators your dog has eaten chocolate are. How long will it be until there are symptoms? Knowing what to look for will allow you to act more quickly if symptoms occur. The symptoms of a food reaction will differ between pets, just as they do between humans. Chocolate toxicity symptoms are a wide range. Some might experience vomiting or diarrhea. Then they settle. With severe reactions, the dog may experience excitability, tremors, a fast heart rate, irregular cardiac rhythms, and seizures. 
Without proper veterinary care, chocolate toxicity can be lethal. A dog's weight, the type of chocolate consumed, and the amount consumed are all factors that affect whether or not the dog has ingested a life-threatening amount of chocolate. A golden retriever who eats a single M&M will be okay, says Jen Jones, founder of Your Dog Advisor, a popular dog owner blog. On the other hand, Jones believes that a six-pound Yorkie that consumes half a Hershey bar is in serious trouble. It can be challenging if your dog eats chocolate. Your best bet is to double-check with a reputable vet. That's because one can never be too cautious regarding their pet's safety. With this, our video finally comes to an end. If you liked it, smash that like button and subscribe for more. We'll be back with a new video very soon. And please do tell us in the comments if you are a dog person or a cat person. Until then, stay tuned and take care.